What's up guys? Welcome back. So I uh, wanted to hop on here real quick, um, tell you about my surgery slash procedure uh, that I had this weekend. I came through that really well um, and I appreciate all the well wishes and people that private messaged me, emailed me, um, contacted me in other ways uh, to check on me. I really appreciate that and thank you. Um, I figured I'd give you a little bit of a rundown on that. Uh, so the procedure that I had done um, is called a radio frequency ablation. Um, and I had a couple people ask me, so I figured I'd just let you know. Uh, basically what they do is they, they stick needles in your spine and they stick um, probes down there and they emit a radio frequency in there and it burns the nerves off. Um, lasts about a year. Um, gives you pretty good... Um, pain relief. The problem is uh, they can only do one side of your spine at a time and I need both sides done um, in my neck. I also need the procedure done in my in my back uh, but we're gonna push that off for a little while. <laughs> we're gonna get through this first. Um, so what's gonna happen is on March 3rd I've got to go back in again and have the other side done. Uh, but now that I know um, how the procedure is going to go and uh, the extent of how sore I'm going to be, uh, it'll be good. Um, I'm only going to need a couple of days off. Like I said, I went in Friday, had it done um, Friday night and Saturday. Not so good, uh, but Sunday I woke up feeling um, quite a bit better. Just a little bit of stiffness and soreness in my neck, uh, and that's even better today. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's going to be good to get that taken care of. Um, and again, thank you everybody that checked on me. I really appreciate that. Uh, so the the meat and potatoes of why I'm doing this video today is because I finished a couple of kits. So as everybody knows, I'm working on the Mobius F250 um, Ranger with snowplow. I finished that up. Uh, so I'd like to show you that. Um, but I also had a couple a couple of projects that have been lingering. Uh, that I started. Uh, I was able to finish one and make a little bit of progress on the other, which is great because they were both models that were on my list of ones that I needed to do or wanted to do this year. Um, so the other kit I finished up is the Ravel 37 Ford pickup 2-in-1. Um, so I I finished this, I added uh, quite a bit of aftermarket, well, maybe not quite a bit. I added a bit of aftermarket stuff to that, so I'm going to show you that, too. Um, but the other kit that I was able to get some bench time on um, was the Hasegawa Isuzu 117 Coupe. I'm trying not to let that light glare on you guys. Uh, late version, 1978 version. Um, this is a curbside kit. This is a really really cool um, kit. So I was able to make quite a bit of progress on that. Um, you saw I did a short, we were wet sanding this uh, the other day, and uh, thanks to my handy dandy um, dehydrator, or um, as Craig calls it from Craig's Corner, the Susie Bake Oven. <laughs> thanks to that I was able to um, get this thing clear coated and actually some trim done on it. So that's that's how this came out. So this is the wet sand. Um, again, this is the scale finishes uh, Plymouth dark green enamel. Um, this came out really nice. Um, and it's, it's uh, clear coated with the 2K clear. So I love it. Um, I really like how this is coming out. Uh, I also did a little bit of, I did a little bit of chassis, got the chassis going, um, and I got the wheels, the wheels painted and put together. So that's, that's what we got going on on this. I hope to have this done this week so I can show you a final on this too. Um, and then move on to my first NASCAR for the um, NASCAR group build. That's going to be fun. I really want to get into that. So, uh, But i got to finish these other ones that have just been kind of uh, lingering around the shop. I want really want to get those done and out of the way. So um, 
work on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got a little makeshift stage set up over here. I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you the two trucks and uh, we'll go from there. So give me one second and I'll be back. All right, and I'm back. So there it is. That is the Mobius F-250 Ranger uh, plow truck. Went together really well. Um, super happy with the way the kit was. Um, if you guys remember, uh, the chassis went together really well. Um, sat flat. Everything was straight. Um, the interior went together well. The hood was warped. Um, now, if you contact Mobius, they send you, they will send you, I should say, um, parts for to replace the ones stumbling with my words here replace the parts that are warped <laughs> good grief um but i didn't do that i just kind of worked mine with the really hot water and pressure and um i i got it to the point where i'm really happy with it um the truck is painted with testers extreme lacquer bronze metallic which is a really close match to a brown that they had um Went with the white with the wheels, the hubcaps, the chrome trim. Um, pretty cool. Uh, if you can see it, I can show you. Um, my friend Will Emerson made me some uh, New Hampshire license plates. I got a whole big sheet of them. And there happened to be a set of 1972 New Hampshire plates. So it was meant to be. So we put those on there. Um, let's see if you can... You can see inside the the truck came with um, a plow controller, so I I painted that up and kind of hooked a wire to it. Oh, there we go. Now that I got my hand out of the light, so you can see that that sits on the seat. Um, the other license plate is on the dash because uh, you really couldn't see it with the plow mounted, so I decided to put it on the dash. Um, I did paint the bed of the truck black because uh, I thought. I thought if I owned the truck, if I had bought the truck and brought it home, um, that would probably be what I would do. I'd put a mat in it or I'd paint it with a heavy duty like industrial like tractor paint just to protect the bed. So I went ahead and did that. Um, I detailed up the engine. Uh, that's painted um, MCW. Ford engine blue, which is a really good match for that. Made my own distributor, uh, wires, battery cables, um, ran a hose from the washer tank up to the firewall, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I also, if you can see it in there, it's kind of hard to see. Um, I kind of scratch built, well, I wouldn't say scratch built, but I made a, a plow pump, mounted it to the front of the motor, belt driven, took lines and ran two lines through the grill, um, out to the the pump on the plow itself, and then out from the pump to each cylinder. So I basically plumbed the pump in the plow. Uh, and there you have it. Uh, oh, the underside. The underside, I didn't super detail, no brake lines, none of that stuff. Just did a good job painting it. Um, so... You got that. Uh, again, super happy with the way this kit came out. Super happy. Um, I don't have a I don't have a case that it fits in <laughs> because of the plow. So I think I need to go to like Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that and buy like a one eighteenth die cast display case to put this in. But this will go in a case. Super happy with this one. And again, this kit comes highly recommended. Um, Go over to Hobby Nut Models, check out the website. He does have it listed on the website, and if it is out of stock at this current time, it will be in stock soon. And you can um, you can actually notify him that you want to be let know when the kit comes back into stock. So go grab that kit. It's definitely a winner. Okay, so there's that one. The next kit is the 37... Sorry, I had to walk away for a second, guys. The 37 Ford from Ravel, 2-in-1. This kit is awesome. Again. There, there it is. 
So, this kit went together really good. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different than the normal muscle car, drag car type of thing that I do. Uh, so, I went with what I thought would be like a 60s style mild custom. Uh, so that's, that's painted with Tamiya TS-59 uh, Light Red Pearl, which happens to be the same color that Heather um, painted her Jeep. So, uh, again, another rattle can, but it came out really nice. Uh, it just goes to show that you can put a little bit of work into a rattle can paint job and have it come out just as nice as an airbrush job. I stand by that um, and always will. So we had fun with that. Um, the bed is painted with Model Masters um, wood. The runners in between are Molotow Chrome. The trim on the window is Molotow Chrome. Um, the engine in this, it comes with a flathead, but this engine um, I got from Raisin Cane Resins. Um, go look him up on Facebook. That motor was, or that engine was awesome. Uh, it has the Frenzel supercharger on it with the dual carbs. Um, Front-mounted distributor, or Magneto, actually. I think it was a Magneto. Uh, aftermarket heads. Um, that, that engine just went together awesome. Uh, I wanted to do something different with the wheels. So those are Pegasus 15-inch um, chrome reverse with the narrow white walls. And to get the tires to sit under there because they're so deep, I had to kind of give them a stretched look. So you can see the wheels kind of have a lip on them. But I think that len lends to the look of the truck. So... That's that, and again, uh, those are the New Hampshire plates that I got from my friend Will, uh, antique plates. I think that came out really nice. I really like that a lot. So, I'm going to be doing some more of these mild customs, I think, in the future. So, I had a lot of fun with that. So, uh, those are the trucks. Uh, give me a minute to turn the camera back around, and uh, we'll say goodbye. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Uh, that's the final on the, the uh, Mobius F-250 uh, and the final on the Ravel 37 Ford truck. Um, I had a really fun time with both those kits. They both come highly recommended. Uh, and again, like I said, um, it just goes to show the difference, you know, between a, an airbrush paint job and one with a rattle can. They can come out both looking spectacular with a little bit of work. Uh, now I had, I had somebody, I did a short, like I said earlier, um, saying that I was doing some wet sanding and I had somebody comment that they want, they needed a video for that, uh, which I will do. Um, I'm going to sit down and figure out a way to do kind of a quick overview of how I do that. Um, only because, so when I wet sand a body, I start, I start at like 3,500 to 4,000 and I work my way all the way to 12,000, um, which I know I've been told I don't need to do that, but I do. I, I, I get my, I like the way my bodies come out um, when I use that process. Problem is that process takes like from start to finish uh, like 45 minutes to an hour. So there's no way <laughs> I could give you guys a video of the entire process, but I can give you a quick breakdown of how I do it. Um, and I'm going to work on that. So that video will be coming um, as well as hopefully the final on, um, the final on the Isuzu. Actually, the video for the wet sanding, I'm probably going to have to get, I don't have anything painted right now. Everything that I have painted, I need to work on. So, um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get something, um, body worked and primered and then, um, in paint. So that video might actually take a couple weeks, realistically. Uh, geez, sorry. Um, but it's coming, and I will show you guys how I do that. So um, just give me the time to get there, guys. Uh, so I guess I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, as always, go check out Hobby Nut Models, uh, linked in the description of the video. Um, my email, always linked in the description of the video, which reminds me. Uh, so uh, I originally started putting the email in the description if you wanted to shop, uh, shop, 
Shop swap cards? Swap shop cards. <laughs> uh, however, um, I've decided that I'm going to cut off the shop, the current shop card at the last handful that I sent out last weekend. Um, only because I want to redo the card. So I've been doing this over a year. Um, those were some old builds that are on the card. Um, I've got new builds that I'm really proud of. Uh, so i got to figure out which one, which one or ones I want to put on a new card and change the card up. So um, I'm going to leave the email in the description of the video because I enjoy hearing from you guys. Um, I have a handful of guys that send me pictures and we correspond um, back and forth through the email. And I don't want to stop that. So the the invite is open for anybody that wants to uh, shoot the breeze or... Um, have questions for me uh, or whatever uh, you can still send me an email if you'd like um, I'm just not gonna have shop cards for a, a couple three months maybe I don't know how long it's gonna take me to do that but um, I'd like to get a new shop card put together um, and stop sending out the old ones so uh, yeah now that's it so <laughs> thanks for watching um, and look for the next video coming really soon again Go check out everything linked in the description of the video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.